Hi there, my name is Alastair Kennedy and I'm the Social Bowl Social Worker and I give practical advice to social workers, social work students and those wanting to foster and adopt. And in this video we're going to look at the best social work apps for 2020, 2021. Now, social work is all about IT platforms and we work across so many platforms, Liquid Logic, Mosaic, um, what other ones, Care First, Charms. And as an interim social worker, I have to pretty much use all of them at, one, um, at separate times in my contracts. And but as an independent, I've kind of fallen back on my iPhone or my Android phone at that time. So, and that helps my productivity. It really does help my productivity and keep track of my work because a lot of the st stuff I'm doing is project work. And it helps also um, with my time management. So to hit the ground running, it's I need to have all my IT and my apps loaded in my phone and get ready to go. So what I'm going to teach you is I'm going to what I'm going to do is tell you some of the best apps that I use actually in my practice and some at the end of the video that could help you actually with your studying if you're a social work student. So stay tuned. So the first app I'm going to recommend is called To Do List and it's a great app. As social workers we all love lists but what this does is it just provides a seamless link between all the bits and pieces that are on your phone, your Word documents, your PDFs and you can bring everything together in these to do lists and, and it is really good to manage tasks and you can move things from different apps as well and crucially you can actually use speech and it's a great opportunity when you're in meetings to actually use speech or record some of the meetings that you might have with other professionals and then move it into that app. As if it's one of those things you write, you like to write lists, then this is ideal for you. So, Forest. I've talked about this in other videos. I think I might have man uh, mentioned it in my time management video. If you haven't seen the time management video, please go to the link below and it'll be really useful to you. Forest is an app where you put the phone down and you get 25 minutes of clear time. You don't touch your phone at all. And actually the tree grows within the app and it's brilliant. If you touch your phone or you look at your phone, then the tree actually dies. And the good thing for the Greta Thunbergs out there for you are that uh, they plant a tree for everybody that downloads the app. And also they tell you if you've used it for a certain amount of times, how many trees um, we could have planted with the time. So it's actually a really useful app. It's quite fun as well, but it helps with that productivity and just gives you that, that time, that thinking time. It's only 25 minutes, but that's crucial. You'll probably have heard this app. It's called Evernote and it's been one of the mainstays um, that I've used in my work since being an independent and as a social worker. And it's a really good way to make notes, to organize them, you can present your ideas, you can move them onto things like PowerPoint in a systematic way, you can move them back to to-do list as well, um, and you can share your documents crucially with other colleagues, which is really useful. And hey, it's got an elephant on it as well as a, as a logo, so what's not to like? So the next app that I use is Google Office. No, no, don't switch off, don't switch off. Um, Google Office is actually, it's, it's, it's underused and it's often maligned, but the whole Google suite has, they've managed to redo it this year in 2020 to 21. And actually it's, you can track your work across loads of IT programs. It's really intuitive. It links up with your calendar as well. And often now is linking up with local authority calendars and actually local authorities are starting to use it more as well. But there's a caveat, you shouldn't be sharing or saving stuff on Google, which is the difficulty because one, you know, if it's confidential, you don't know where that's going. And obviously there's been a lot of leaks. Um, so I would say that that is more for personal growth, planning your work, and obviously, as you know, being professional social workers, um, you should never store um, client confidential information. Okay, disclaimer over. So another good app is called Tick Tick. No, it's not Tick Talk, it's not dance video thing. I don't want you doing that stuff in social work, but um, it's a kind of it's a kind of uncomplicated to-do list app and it's primarily um, on Apple. I don't know if they've actually, I'll need to look it up and see if they've put it on Andrew, Android yet. But it's got, it's kind of, it's a very uh, cross-platform app that's got uh, Gmail uh, synchronization and it does go across iOS and some web platforms and you can convert an email into a to-do list, to list with the 
Chrome extension from Google and it also you can back up your lists which is really useful and save them on the cloud which is good and that's kind of and it'll also give you reminders of how to make uh, when you need to make uh, deadlines and it also sets out multitasking priorities for your day for your week for your month and and the striking thing about it is a really good thing about it is is it can set location reminders so for example if you've got a list that's uh, on your phone and you go to a client's house or you go to a meeting that you're supposed to go to and you've produced a to-do list or an agenda it'll actually that that'll pop up based on your location and that's good for you if when you're attending meetings and you don't have to be scribbling about in your phone or your notebook to find out it just pops up so the calendar would pop up and then your notes would come up and my last and final app and one that is crucial for local authorities and any commercial organisations that you're going to work in, and again, don't switch off, is PowerPoint. Look, local authorities love PowerPoint. Just like they love Excel, they love PowerPoint, and you need to know how to run PowerPoint. If you're going to do any presentations or project management, uh, and even if you're going for an interview for a, a social work job, they may ask you for a PowerPoint presentation and I've created some amazing things on PowerPoint, some SWOT plans, 90 day plans, presentations that all look really professional. It saves you mucking about with all the templates and stuff. It just produces it all with the look that you want. Just remember that all the swooshing things that come in and out and the titles, whoosh, whoosh, pff, pff, don't do that. It's really passe now. So well, there you have it, my top apps for social work. Sorry it's taken so long, I know I'd mentioned it in a video before that I was going to do this video, but I wanted to make sure I had just got the right apps um, for social workers and social work students and newly qualified social workers. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe, press the subscribe button. And if you want notifications and other future videos, then ring the little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling -a -ling. All right, thanks and best of luck.